Ever since the Earth formed 4.5 billion years ago, it has been bombarded with rocks from space. Most of it burns up high in the ionosphere due to friction with air, but a few rocks get through. Impacts in the ocean pass unnoticed, though the larger ones could produce tsunamis. Others strike land and leave craters. This has been going on since the dawn of time and is expected to continue long after the sun boils away our oceans in about 5 billion years. But before you turn on your space mode, take a second to press the red subscription button and ring the notification bell to be the first to get all our awesome updates. There are a lot more small rocks than big ones, so while Earth is constantly being hit, accumulating over 100 tons of matter every day, most of this is in the form of dust or tiny sand grain sized meteors that appear as shooting stars. By comparison, school bus sized asteroids may hit every thousand years or so. Medium sized, say 300 meter asteroids, might be once every 50,000 years, and extinction level events only every billion years. The Space Guard survey is an attempt to locate and track as many near Earth objects as possible. Each time astronomers identify an asteroid that isn't on a collision course with the Earth, the calculated odds of an impact go down a little bit. Should I be worried about asteroids hitting the Earth? No, and yes. You shouldn't lose sleep over it because damaging asteroids don't hit very often, but you should care about it. They have hit and dangerous asteroids will hit again unless we prevent that from happening. Why do asteroids hit Earth? Space is really empty and big, but there's also a lot of stuff out there and Earth is a big target with big gravity, so things run into Earth nor Earth runs into them. In June 2011, a bus-sized chunk of real estate missed the Earth by only 7,500 miles. If this asteroid had hit the Earth, it would have blown a sizable crater in the ground, perhaps injuring or killing some hapless folks as well. And earlier in 2011, a somewhat smaller asteroid missed the Earth by only 3,400 miles. About 65 million years ago, an asteroid struck the Earth that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs and 70% of the species on Earth. It was huge. Scientists may have spotted the resultant hole in the ground, the so-called Chicxulub Crater just north of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. It's been estimated that this immense asteroid was 6 to 10 miles in diameter, roughly the size of Mount Everest. When it landed in the ocean, it caused mega tsunamis thousands of meters high. If an asteroid this size struck the Earth today, it could possibly wipe out the entire human species. Are there any asteroids heading for Earth? There are a few asteroids that currently are known to have a low probability of hitting Earth in tens to hundreds of years. Apophis out in space is an asteroid that may have Earth in its crosshairs. Apophis, an 800-foot chunk of rock, will approach the Earth in 2029. And if it passes through what's called a gravitational keyhole, then it could strike the Earth in 2036. However, the odds are very small that it will ever collide with our planet, about 1 in 250,000. Asteroid Bennu has a diameter of more than 500 meters, would unleash 1,200 megatons of energy on impact 80,000 times that of the Hiroshima bomb. Bennu has a 1 in 2700 chance of striking Earth on September 25, 2135, and while those odds seem to be in our favor, they are minuscule in astronomical terms. NASA is working on its Hypervelocity Asteroid Mitigation Mission for Emergency Response Vehicle, or HAMMER, which is designed to blow up asteroids using nuclear weapons or steer the space rocks clear. But because Bennu is so big, the latter technique would not be possible, leaving nuclear weapons as the final option, which is also ruled out as this would then cause radioactive debris to rain down on Earth. What will happen if an asteroid strikes Earth? 
depends on a few factors, such as the size, speed, hit angle, and landing point. If it's 10 feet across, it may skip off the atmosphere or create a pretty fireworks explosion in the sky. If it is 100 feet across, it may cause a massive explosion, like the one at Tunguska. If it's a quarter mile wide, it could take out an entire region, but if it's 10 kilometers wide, well, that's a game changer for just about anyone and any living thing walking or crawling the earth. That's what we may call an ELE, or extinction level event, and it doesn't really matter where it hits. Unlike smaller meteors, an asteroid that size will not be slowed down much by the atmosphere. It will punch through in less than three seconds like it's hardly even there. And when it reaches the surface, it'll hit so hard that it won't matter if it strikes ocean or land. Most people within a hundred miles will be completely vaporized. They will most likely never know what hit them, but they're the lucky ones. The impact with the Earth's crust will finally stop the asteroid. The energy of the impact will vaporize the asteroid and a large amount of the Earth's crust, creating a crater more than 100 kilometers across, throwing all that rock into the air. Horrible, unimaginable earthquakes will be felt worldwide, and the sound of the impact will reach out thousands of miles, serving as a warning regarding the real hell that's about to come. Many species of animals, including the human race, will die out. Just about any scientist will tell you that it's only a matter of time before the Earth is struck by an asteroid large enough to cause massive damage and loss of life. What can we do about such an eventuality? Not much, but keep in mind that there are many agencies that watch for asteroids. Chances are, any asteroid miles across will be spotted months, if not years, before it can strike the Earth, which would give agencies such as NASA and the U.S. military plenty of time to change the trajectory of the asteroid or destroy it. What do you think? We'd like to hear your opinion in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe.